guys we're back today is a good day let me tell you why so um in the last month up until yesterday i gained like 700 subscribers guys so we are at a thousand one hundred and like sixty subscribers right now we are doing really really well guys we're on our road to um maybe becoming a full-time youtuber i don't know um if you're new here my name is marcus you're watching nama chansa vlogs make sure to hit the subscribe button we got a little watermark right here make sure to hit that you guys can subscribe there but like i said my name is marcus today we're going to be doing another install but it's going to be on the si we have the other si here of course um the hatch and today we're going to be working on this hub here so um what's wrong with this hub is that um the bolts that went through here just like this so this goes on and then you get the through the holes whatever um that was what our issue was so <clears throat> all the bolts were kind of like stripped so i went out bought some new ones did cop these bolts here from nrg got these at jhp usa if you guys want to cop anything from jhp usa it's going to be in the link in the description down below also pick up a lot of stuff at fkx racing so if you guys want to cop anything there um link in the description Description down below guys so anything 8th gen 9th 10th gen 10th gen is going to be fkxracing.com he specializes in all those gens but he does other stuff as well just more specializes in in that type of area of cars there so those those years there so anyway um we're going to be working on the hatch today like i said we're going to do this we got the bolts here um i'm going to set you guys down for a moment and we'll get these installed i just, all all i got to do is um tighten this uh, hub bolt here if it focuses there it is and uh once i tighten that we'll get these screws in and then charles has to bring me the si she's gonna come bring me the si and i'll drop her off at home but i do need the si to do the uh install that we're gonna do the little modification um gotta get a little bit more color into the uh, interior and you guys already know what we're gonna do to that thing so What I like to do, I like to go in a start pattern and everything like that has like six bolts or five bolts or four. Or, yeah, like I just like to go in kind of like in an order just so that like it tightens up in like the right sense. Like it's just like lug nuts, but. All I'm doing right now is just making sure they're all the way threaded in and then we'll do the tightening the next round and in the same star pattern that we just did all right so now we're going to start tightening Now we can get our steering wheel in, just like so, and we're gonna go. All right guys, so by the title and thumbnail, you guys saw what we got. First, um, I already unpackaged everything, got it ready for the thumbnail, and I already have it out, so I might as well just show you guys. So, um, there's a six speed shift knob. Um, it's weighted, but um, we also got the shift boot here. This is a bright uh, replica shift boot here. This is not real, but um, it's gonna look so much better in the interior of the car. Uh, interior of the car needs a little bit more um, vibrance to it, some little more uh, color to it. So um, went with the red one just to match the stitching of the seats and the door handles and the uh, armrest. So yeah, we're gonna get to installing this real quick, guys. Hopefully it's an easy install. I don't know or have any idea how to install this. So you guys are gonna be going through this with me. So um, let's go. Also, guys, I did not mention um, where I got the uh, products from. So the shift boot, I got it on eBay from uh, D Boys, Sh D Boys Shifts, and uh, I'll put the link in the description down below to any other products. The shift boot was made exactly for my car, so which is really really dope. Um, next, um, the shift knob, I got it from JHP USA. Here you go, JHP USA. This is the 20th anniversary, 20th anniversary sticker here. Pretty dope. It looks really, really good. I already have one here on my. Um, so you guys know I'll be repping. I'll be going hard. I'll be buying products all the time. So um, JHP, come on, man. Was good. Okay, so first we're gonna have to remove this here, and uh, once we can remove this, we should. Oh, and we also need a 14 millimeter here. This is gonna be a wrench. Um, you twist one way, twist the shift knob the other way. I believe it's to the right. To the right this way with the shift with the um nut and the shift uh the shift knob goes to the left i believe or vice versa i'm not sure exactly we'll figure it out right now so 
the 14 goes on just like that. Okay, so this is going to go to the left or to the right, like I said. So you turn this one to the right. I don't know. You guys saw how I did it, kind of. All right, so we got the shift knob there off. First time having the shift knob off, then it comes with a bolt. I got a new bolt, so I'm going to throw the new bolt in. Or, or nut, sorry. So there it is. We'll set those aside. Now we got to get the shift boot off. And, um... I don't know how to get the shift boot off at all. So um, we're just going to kind of like pry it off. And hopefully everything goes well. There it is. So kind of with your pry tool, just pry it off like a little bit. It has like these little, um, what are they called? Like, uh, I don't know what these are called, but they're right, right there. You just have to pry off and they'll come off. So um, I just stuck my pry tool in and then like kind of like pushed up and they come off like really, really simple. So um, yeah, soon hopefully we could um, get a new shifter as well, guys. But for the meantime, let's just get this boot installed. We'll get this one removed and we should be gravy, baby. This was really like fairly simple actually. All right, guys. So, um, we got some process done or some of the process done already onto the shift boot. Um, let me show you guys what I did so far. So, um, the original shift boot had this little black piece here. Um, it was held together by like a little zip tie. So I removed this and uh, got a new zip tie on it onto the new one. Um, this is uh, zip tied in from the inside. You guys can see in there kind of. So I'm um, just zip tied it through the inside and now I'm screwing the uh, bracket or screwing the um actual shift boot onto the bracket so um the way this one was done was um with some like staples type thing and uh, i didn't want that done i stole the uh, little black piece that i showed you guys a little bit ago um from here so that way um it like kind of like you know like up and down on the um shifter so um i'm just bolting in this here right now with a t20 and uh we will bolt in the um shift knob as soon as we are done but Nothing fancy done here, guys. So just using the old uh, bolt spots, same thing. Using the uh, extra material to bolt the shift boot on. Now that we are in, let's throw this piece on. So looks pretty good. There's like a like slight little like you know. But that's because we didn't do it the like exact way. But that is in right there. This comes down. And then like you won't even be able to tell kind of. Like you kind of will. But like you kind of won't. You guys get what I'm saying. Like this is going to come down. And then like you guys can't even tell. So like this comes up and down just like that. Just like original. And no one's going to be poking, poking their hand in here. So um, that's all gravy. Next, what we got to do is um, get the nut that they s supplied. Put that all the way in. Next, get our shift knob. Bolt that all the way down. Okay, so we got one less right there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to tighten this nut down here to the shift knob. And now I need both hands. Oh, that looks really good actually. Woo -hoo -hoo. Um, let me set you guys down for a moment. I'm going to try to set you guys down there. And then... Okay. So now you just hold the shift knob and you tighten with the 14 millimeter you turn it this way so uh, counterclockwise clockwise to uh, loosen it counterclockwise to uh, tighten it and then you just hold the shift knob in place kind of like twisting it to the right a little bit clockwise and um, there it is guys shift knob and shift boot are installed looks really really good it looks better than i expected because um i was expecting a different color for shift knob but in the future i might go with a lighter color here um this looks really really well if you ask me um 
the only thing I didn't like was like around here you guys kind of kind of like the shift boot you kind of stick your finger in but that's because I didn't do it with this piece here so I could have like um, removed this uh, plastic piece but I'm gonna find one at the junkyard and that way I could redo it but for now it's gonna be uh, just like this I just want to be able to keep this one just in case I want to throw this one back in all right guys and just like that it looks really really good I wanted to get a different angle for you guys there so um looks really really good I'm excited I can't wait to start driving with it I can't wait to show Charles Charles um didn't expect this at all she didn't even know I purchased this stuff but I want to show her um, in the future I will be purchasing a little a plastic piece so I could um, adapt the uh, shift boot to it a little bit better just because um, you have like little um, indentations right here little crevices that like kind of creep up but it looks really good regardless of that and um, yeah guys without further ado we're gonna wrap it up this was the install for today hope you guys enjoyed the little short video um i will be making more content soon so stay tuned we are at thousand subscribers guys i'm stupid excited i want to get my views up as well guys so that way maybe i can start getting paid from youtube and uh start working less on like actually getting paid from a job and actually doing what i want to do so um if you guys like this video, hit the like button, guys. If you're new, make sure to subscribe. If you watched this video to the end, thank you guys very much. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the install. Peace.